Now, back in the capital, it's a treat for all you art lovers. The sixth edition of the India Art Fair is on, at least on the weekend. Pujat Alwar reports on the highlights. We leave you with this on this bulletin. Absolute Kapoor, an abstract rendering in red of the vodka bottle by the renowned Anish Kapoor, marks the entrance of the first pavilion at the sixth edition of the Delhi Art Fair. This is both Gupta's untitled metallic installation, along with his stainless steel installation of Bucket's titled Aura. Jitish Kalat stake on security checks, the Sicardian rhyme. Chintan Upadhyay's larger than life head of a baby, done in the Shikhavati tradition. Indian art's most prominent names. It's just one reason visitors are turning up in large numbers at the sixth edition of the art fair. The other most striking aspect of the fair is that it showcases works by independent artists who may not be part of regular art galleries, like photographer Dayanita Singh, who has constructed a special structure, the file room, a work designed to be read and exhibited. It argues her reason for using photography as a medium of art. Because I had the idea that I wanted to show the book as the work, you know in a frame, on the wall, or in a structure. And so now I just cut up my books, paste different covers, put them in one of the structures, and that's my exhibition. Also for the first time, a jewellery collection in diamond inspired by art finds a place in the pavilions. It's sparkly, it's shiny. There's also the emotions which, which every diamond signifies. And that's incredible. I'm painting with emotions. New features include 24 specially commissioned art projects which use multimedia and performance. Like dancer Ananya Dutt's work with students from the National School of Drama using clay. Focus on new genres. Sound art is a big, big part of the art fair this year. Uh, I remember a few years ago video was a really important art form uh, and a lot of people didn't know what video art was. So we try and take on new, new genres of, of art and, and promote them. The organizers have also begun a new mentor and protégé program, pairing art students with master practitioners. It involves younger people, this involves older people, how do they bring younger people into the midst of this dialogue around art and all of that, I think. And how does art, at the ultimate level, how does it give a feedback loop of positive energy into society at large. There is a renewed optimism in the Indian art market. The Indian art fair has registered a growth of over 25 to 30 percent with more collectors, institutions and corporate houses from the world over looking to invest in art. An international recognition of India's dynamic artwork and the market is reflected in the way the British auction house Sotheby's has tied up with the fair, bringing selected highlights from its forthcoming London sale including old iconic work like David Hockney's self-portrait, estimated at £200,000. The famous dollar sign by Andy Warhol, estimated at £200,000. As well as Bhupin Kakkar's Buffalo Among the Flowers, estimated to fetch $200,000. Indian art is local, it's never going to make more than twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Now we see it making three or four million dollars per piece. So. The market is buoyant for the right things, for the good things. And somebody like Guy Tunde, who's such a sort of legend and such a, an important artist in Indian history, I think his works will continue to go up. And I bet you in 10 or 15 years' time, you will look at this way and say, oh, it's so cheap, why didn't I buy it? With 3,000 artworks, speaker forums, curated walks and special projects, the India Art Fair is showing immense success in developing newer audiences and initiating new energy into the Indian art market. Pooja Talwar, NDTV.